you've probably heard about Golang. If you've been around this channel, you know we really like Golang. We make a lot of videos about it. But I want to show you and talk to you about actual projects that were built with Go that have become some of the best tooling available on the internet. Now, I know that's a startling statement to make, but hear me out. People always ask, Melky, what can I start to use to build with Go? I don't know what projects to build. Give me some ideas. And you would probably go to something like this, seven GitHub projects to make you a better Go developer. <laughs> And you scroll down like, oh, this is awesome. You can write awesome Go. Standard Go project layout. There's no code in this. Literally, if you open this up, it is just examples of how to structure your project. Go kit, Go design patterns. Learn Go with test-driven development. The ultimate Go study guide. These are not actual projects. This is a blog post that found popular repositories with the tag Golang in it and slapped them in a blog that you read and think, wow, this is great. I still don't know to build HTTP server CLI is there anything else and yes there are way better projects that you probably use every single day not knowing that they are written with Golang so let's start this one off with what I like to call the poster child aka docker if you didn't know docker is written in go and you would have a harder time finding a better success story than docker to really advocate for the power of Golang the docker team let go and I quote because it offers a slew of benefits static compilation with no dependencies a strong standard library a full development environment and the ability to build from multiple architectures with minimal hassle and docker is one of the most popular projects there is you know it's forked from moby but here's the original moby repository with 67,000 stars i mean this is truly you know you can see here 97.3 percent written in go always got to represent so that is one key example. And another project which you have most definitely heard of, which kind of goes hand in hand with Docker and it stands to reason other significant cloud oriented container projects should also be written with Go. If Docker is obviously Kubernetes. Kubernetes is also one of those that most people know that is actually written Golang. It's always talked about. It's like, wait, no, you can, if you can build Kubernetes, Golang can build anything, which is true. You literally, Kubernetes was built, 97% of the code base is built with Go link you can see here 103,000 stars it's one of the most popular repositories on github it is the heavyweight also known as ka also known as doomsday uh if you know this is just one of those heavyweight projects that really showcase the absolute ability that Golang offers for heavy projects like kubernetes and docker google considered writing kubernetes in other languages including c c plus java and python but according to joe beta co-founder and former technical lead for Kubernetes and currently principal engineer at VMware, none of these languages hit the sweet spot like Go. And as he says, and I quote, Go is neither too high level nor too low level. I love you, Joe. Thank you. But do you want to know that maybe Go doesn't only have to be used for Docker and containerization on the cloud? How about Go's impact on web development? Yes, React, Vue, Svelte, React, Server Components, all you Theo lovers he has built an extremely fast bundler for the web one of the craziest things that came out in the world of front end engineering in the last few years was built with go a straightforward api for cli js and go if you look at it because it's well open source 36.4 thousand stars and go is the primary backend language built for a JavaScript bundler. And the reason for why this was built was because JavaScript was going to be too much of a pain and too slow. So they just decided to build it with Go. And this isn't one of the only cases. I'm actually gonna put a Rust plug with like Turbo Repo, which is built with Rust. There's lots of things that are being built to speed up the bundling or the overall tooling used in the front end world with tools such as Go and Rust. Another example I have here, which is neither too heavy influenced by front end, nor is it a container Containerization or orchestration tool. It's actually Trafic, which is a reverse proxy and load balancer for network services. This is similar to like Nginx, if you know what that is. And this, well, look at it, created with Go. You can see that they have a custom Go for here. 92.6% of the code base is written in Go, open source. So the reason why I showed you these four projects from Docker, Kubernetes, ES Build, and Trafic was to show you the absolute crazy breadth that 
that Go offers to developers. You don't need to just create CLI or web APIs. You don't need to do that with Go. Yeah, sure. Go makes it easy to build that, but that is not the only thing you can use Go for. That's why I showed you these completely varying degrees of software projects. Containerization with Docker and Kubernetes, you have to bring those up because those are like the poster child of Go projects. But you also have ES Build. Not a lot of people know that was built with Go. And there's so many more projects like Fedora Core S, Cockroach DB. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The whole point to showcase that if you don't build something, go ahead and build it. Don't think there's really like one way to do something. Use your creativity to build something really badass. And who knows, it could be the next big thing on GitHub. You just got to build it. Did you know the tools I listed here were built with Go? If you didn't, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. But I got to leave you guys out with two things. First, go build something with Go and tell me what it is. What do you want to build with Go? And two, you got to power it.